So this is the instrument cluster for my 91 Toyota Corolla and I burnt out part of the cables that lights up the backlight for the speedometer at night so I'm gonna do a LED hack and replace them with LEDs so when you get to the back there's these little mounts that twist out and have the original bulb in them and then you can pull out the bulb and they just look like this So I'm going to use hot glue to mount uh, LEDs into the same socket so that I can still have it mount in the same socket and then just run additional traces over the surface to my power supply. And while I had the car all apart, I took the pieces inside and gave them some nice OCD cleaning. So I got these common cathode LEDs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three holes at the bottom of the original sockets so I can mount these LEDs in my car's instrument cluster using the same sockets that originally came with my car. And now I've made four holes, one for the common pin and the R, G, and B pins. I should be able to slide all four leads of the LED in there. It's kind of tricky, but eventually it should slide in. And here we go. Next, I'll fill that gap with hot glue so the LED stays in place, nice and tight. Here I'm using a breadboard to keep things steady while I glue. I'm filling the bulb sockets with hot glue so the LEDs are more permanently fixed in the holders. Now that the glue has set, I have an RGB LED in the original Toyota socket. It's in there nice and firm. Now I can install these in the dash gauge cluster and they won't be moving anywhere. All right, so I used a piece of ethernet cable and I wired it like such. The brown wire, which is kind of hard to distinguish, is gonna be common. The orange wire is the closest thing to red, so that'll be for the red lights. The green wire is obviously for the green lights and the blue wire is for the blue lights. So if we follow the ethernet down, we can see that all the original Toyota plugs, which now have LEDs in them, have all four of those wires uh, wired up properly. So we'll trace them over to here and then here. So when we put positive on the brown wire and ground on any of the other color wires, those corresponding lights will light up. All right, so I'm in my car and as you can see, I removed the instrument cluster and I've already got started working on the LEDs for that, but now I need to find a power supply. And these LEDs are supposed to come on when I turn the headlights on. So when I do this, they should come on. This cable down here was what's supposed to control the um, LEDs or the regular dash lights. But unfortunately, this cable doesn't work. It's got to shorten it or there's some kind of fuse that I can't find, so this cable's not working. So I need to find an alternate power supply that comes on when I do this. And luckily, this car has one. So the radio has two wires that come from it, these orange and white striped wires, and then a uh, common ground wire. Now, the orange and black wire is also supposed to be ground for the uh, dash lights, but for some reason, it's not working, so I'm just using the normal ground. So I hooked up a multimeter with just some alligator clips and the orange and white are supposed to be positive and ground is obviously ground so if I put this altimeter somewhere where we can see it when I turn this we see a nice about 12.6 volts coming across those turn it off and then 12.6 volts. 
Now when the car is running, let's start the car real quick. We now have zero volts, but when I turn it on, it goes up to 14.3. So when the car is off, it was at 12.6, but with the car running, it's at 14.3. So that's something we'll have to be aware of. Turn the car off and you'll see it drops down to about 12.6. So I found my power supply. And again, when I turn this off, it turns off. So basically we're gonna tap these two wires, which normally go to the radio. Um, they'll still go to the radio, but we're going to tap into them so that we can uh, power the Arduino with power that only comes on when the headlights are on. And if you're wondering why these go to the radio, when you turn your headlights on, normally the dash lights come on. And this particular uh, model of radio also will have a backlight when you turn the uh, headlights on. So it's a nice feature to have for a radio, but it's also nice because it gives us an entry point for this project. Unfortunately, I can't get that cable working anymore, and I've spent hours Googling it, so we have a solution that will work. I'm just going to tap into it and then run the wire back behind this post, back behind where the cluster is. There's plenty of room behind here, so there should be no problem. And then probably down through this hole where I'll have the Arduino. Alright, so I've now spliced the ground and the orange and white wire, which is 12.6 volts when the headlights are on, and that's just for the dash lights. And then that wire goes down behind the normal um, uh, wire harness through this hole and down to the floor. So that should be more than enough room to work with for the uh, voltage for the Arduino. Now it's time to put the radio back in. All right, so here's the headlight hack. Right now it's really dark and obviously you can't see anything, but when I turn on the headlights, you will see that as soon as I focus it, my dash now illuminates with different color LEDs. And using the knob that would normally be responsible for um, changing their brightness, I can instead change their color. Now it doesn't look too good on the video, but to my eyes in the car, even the top part of this gauge, which you can barely see in the video, I can actually see perfectly clearly. Um, I'd like to get some brighter LEDs in there sometime. Um, I think I'm using the maximum amps I can draw from the circuit, so um, I don't know. I can't just add more lights, but blue seems to show up pretty good on the camera. But for usability, um, it works pretty well. I mean, even with the red, which you can't see at all on the camera, I can see very clearly in the car. And then my favorite is the kind of blue-green, which is what I usually leave it at, somewhere around, somewhere around there. But uh, the green looks pretty good too. The green I can see very clearly. Red's definitely the hardest, but in the car you can actually see it. So that's it, that's the project. Um, I hacked it so that, as you can see, here's my radio. And when I turn the headlights off, the backlight on the radio goes off. And then when I turn them on, the backlight on the radio comes on. And that's what I used. I used that power source for the, the Arduino for this project. So it was a pretty fun hack, and uh, that's about it.